Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Gaming. My name is Logan and as you may or may not know, Crash Bandicoot have announced a few days ago that they are releasing a brand new mobile game. Stay tuned until the end of this video and I'll tell you how you can be one of the very first people to play this game when it comes out. As I mentioned, there is a new Crash game coming out called Crash Bandicoot On The Run. This is not to be confused with the recently announced Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time, which is coming out on the 2nd of October this year. When I first read the title Crash Bandicoot On The Run, I thought this may be very similar to Super Mario Run. After watching the trailer though, it's clear that this is not the case. Today we're going to be using all the information currently available to find out what the new game is going to be like and if it's worth playing. Crash Bandicoot On The Run has actually been developed by the same people who make Candy Crush Saga. Does this mean this is going to be a match 3 game? Is this going to be the new Sega Heroes? Definitely not. As we watch the trailer, we're greeted with stunning visuals of a CGI crash running through all of these beautifully animated environments. As I was watching this, the first thing that came to mind is that this seems very similar to Sonic Dash 1 and 2. The way he interacted and passed all of the main antagonists is very similar to the way that bosses are encountered in the game. As we head towards the end of the trailer and take a look at the gameplay, it would seem that these theories have been confirmed. The game appears to be in the style of an endless runner, much like Temple Run, but the developers do have the chance to make this game a little bit different. If they really wanted to, they could make individual levels that you would have to complete and create a whole game as opposed to making it like an arcade game where you just need to get the highest score. They could use this opportunity to make the levels in the style of the original or remade levels where you're either being chased by boulders or riding animals from Crash 3. We don't yet know exactly what they're going for or what they're going to be doing, but I imagine there will have to be a fair bit of content in order to keep people entertained for more than a short while. This game is going to be a portrait game, which for an endless runner is pretty standard. This does mean that the controls are going to be very simple swipe or tap controls to access certain areas, but this is not necessarily a bad thing. Because it's portrait, you can also play this discreetly while you're in class or at work and just say that you're checking the time. There unfortunately isn't a date set where we know 100% when the game is coming out, but my guess is that this is going to be either before or shortly after the release of the new Crash 4 It's About Time to make people excited for the new release. From what we know, this is going to be a free-to-play game, which is always great due to the accessibility, but it also paves the way for microtransactions. This is annoying from a consumer perspective, but even Nintendo themselves realize that this is a way to make much more money after their release of Super Mario Run. Although the game sold very well, comparing it to other titles such as their Fire Emblem Warriors, which is free, but with microtransactions, that game actually made a lot more money than the Mario game did. The last thing I want to mention is the small detail right at the end of the trailer with the blue bandicoot alongside Crash. This shows you that the game is giving you the ability or option to customize your bandicoot and make them your very own unique character. This looks like it'll work in a similar style where different items or things you equip may give you more bonuses or boosts such as faster run speed, double apples or maybe even invincibility. Am I looking forward to this game? Absolutely. Will it be fun? I don't know yet, but from what I can see, this game does look very promising. If you haven't pre-registered yet, there is a link in my description that will lead you to the page you can go so you're one of the very first people to download it once it's available. Please note, this is only currently available on Android for right now, but it is expected to be released on iPhones as well, come release time. If you like this video, please like it as these small gestures really do help the channel grow. If you want to subscribe as well, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for spending some time out of your day to watch this video and have a fantastic day.